Consider the wolf pack led by the alpha male and the whole hierarchy that follows includes a beta wolf as deputy and the omega wolf at the bottom of the rank. Newcomers and challengers and fights to the death, all part of the sophisticated group system. But it turns out, in reality, wolf packs are usually much less complicated. That's according to Norwegian scientists who say in a new study that our misconceptions are based on old studies that looked at wolf packs in captivity not in the wild. Most wolf packs simply consist of two parents and their pups. So the adults are simply in charge because they're the parents of the rest of the pack members. So how did the idea for the alpha wolf come about? It all started with Rudolf Schenkel, who wrote about social structure and body language among wolves in 1947, and he studied them at a zoo in Switzerland. It was his work that gave rise to the idea of the alpha wolf. Now, Schenkel also mentioned in his studies that it was possible that wild wolf packs consisted of a monogamous pair and their pups, but this information was overlooked for years. In the 2000s, David Mech studied wild wolf packs on Ellesmere Island in Canada for 13 summers. He wrote that what was commonly called the alpha pair was simply the parents of the rest of the pack. This new research from Scandinavia uses GPS to follow wolf packs, and it adds to this notion. They found wolf pairs are monogamous and unbelievably faithful. Most puppies leave the pack when they're one year old. At this point, the young wolves go out in search of a partner and a suitable area to establish their own territory. But some young animals remain in their parents' territory for one to two more years. There is indication that in some areas of the U.S., like Yellowstone, large packs of wolves actually hunt in teams. Here, there is a much higher prey density and completely different conditions. Wolves were actually reintroduced in the mid 19 90s. There, it's much more common for the pups to wait longer to go out on their own. The big takeaway from all this research is that the term alpha wolf is not widely used with wolf researchers. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.